based on the local data, can you tell us how KFLNA cases have plateaued? Uh, yes, we use a number uh, of indicators uh, to um, come to that conclusion, and these all indicators and their graphs are uh, featured on our website. You can look at them either through the dashboard or through a specific uh, a dashboard for um, wastewater surveillance. So I'll start with the first one, which is uh, basically showing the test positivity over time, and that means uh, test positivity means out of 100 people who are being um, tested for COVID, how many of them turn out to be positive. And we can see that test positivity is expressed as a percentage. So uh, for the longest time, we were under under 5%. And then we started as, as disease activity increased in, in this region uh, throughout the uh, um, fourth wave and then later in, in uh, December, uh, we've seen that percent positivity going up. And it went up from being under 5% to reaching its peak at around 17, 18, uh, 16, 70%. Uh, and at this point, we had a change in testing. So that basically means that we were uh, doing more targeted testing for uh, high risk settings, uh, focusing on symptomatic individuals. And uh, um, with that type of change in testing, uh, what we would expect to observe is that the percent positivity either remains the same uh, or even goes up because we're testing a, a more targeted um, targeted group that are perhaps more likely to be positive. And what we've seen, uh, seen since then, though, is not only has the, uh, the percent positivity uh, didn't go up or, or stay the same, it actually started dropping quite significantly. So we went from that peak of 16, 70 percent to now around six uh, and now seven, eight percent. And that is where our, our percent positivity has stabilized, which in our interpretation means that uh, the disease activity um, has also has also stabilized, stabilized. Uh, and that leads, leads to this uh, uh, interpretation that we are reaching that plateau. So the second graph here, uh, and that's another source of information that we use, uh, demonstrates hospitalizations over time. So we also look at the uh, um, hospitalization that are broken down depending on the color, as you see on the graph, uh, people who are in hospital, people who are in the ICU, people who are ventilated. Uh, and we see this uh, rise in hospitalizations uh, happening throughout the uh, fourth wave. And up to this point uh, in, in about mid-December, these were mainly driven by admissions from Delta infections. Um, and then following that, as we see uh, more of a spread in, in, of, of Omicron, these hospitalizations have decreased and stabilized at the lower level, which is expressed at this, by this part of the graph. What's important about this, um, uh, this indicator is that hospitalization data typically lags the infection. So people first have to be infected, uh, and then it, if they are going to experience severe uh, outcomes of COVID needing hospitalization, will be usually between a week or two weeks from their initial infection. So uh, the data and the, and the hospitalization trends here typically lags the, um, the infection or new cases by, by about a week or two weeks. And lastly, we see the uh, COVID-19 in wastewater surveillance. So this is, uh, this is based on a sample collection from a number of uh, uh, wastewater treatment plants. So the graph here represents the, uh, the samples uh, taken from uh, Ravensview. There are other ones that we collect samples as well, and uh, you can all see them on the, on the website. But what from, from, from what we're, we're seeing in this, in this graph is basically over the course of the summer, there's, there, was, there was still some detection of the signal of COVID-19 in the wastewater based on the corresponding to a low um, numbers of cases that were happening throughout the uh, course of the, of the summer. But it wasn't until the start of the, of the, the, the fourth wave in, in the fall that, you started, that we started seeing increase in the wastewater signal. And that wastewater signal very well co correlated with that rapid rise in cases we've seen um, in the latter part of um, uh, 2021. But what's good news right now, and that also supports our, our notion that the cases and disease activity has stabilized, is that the uh, wastewater signal went from higher number to now stable number at a slightly lower level. This is still above what we see as a, ba as a baseline from the summer months, uh, but it's definitely lower and, 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 and stable uh, compared to the situation from the um, mid-December 